before I forget, because I've been working on this thing pretty consistently. Right now, uh, as you see, I got some white paneling stuff going on here, but ignore that. Right now, I've just finished building the shelf on the front of the trailer. Uh, we went ahead and removed all of the ceiling panels so we can double check all the wiring that goes to see that one's missing there. Uh, but we've got all new LED lights going on after we do some painting. I haven't decided on what color yet. On the inside, we're going to have white ceilings. Most of the sidewalls will be white. The rest will be carpeted. And then the floor, <laughs> the floor we're going to have to redo um, in probably a painted uh, surface. But that's the plan. Um, I know it seems like a lot of work and you're probably wondering why are you putting this much work into this trailer? Well, because I want to, really. I've already made some improvements to the outside by these two floodlights on the side here that are going to help with uh, working on the bullet during those late nights or taking a look at it or whatever. Sometimes we run into an issue where we're not parked underneath the light and everything is super dark. So this is gonna help with that issue. We've got some wiring obviously to do in order to make that work. I've got some new LED strips that I'm gonna run as well. But for now, got that done. Got my shelf done. So I gotta paint the ceiling and then start hanging up the sides. It's just for a second. It's just for a second, so. <laughs> We had to put the inside on hold, even though I, had a start, I was starting to get a quite, quite a bit done because we ended up having a small little window open and we got the trailer inside prepped and ready. Uh, what we're gonna do is do black panels and the trim is gonna be in the, in the gray that's very similar to the gray that's on the truck. So right now, they've already got everything prepped and taped and ready. Uh, we're just going to do the outline basically of the box in the gray. So the pillar, the top, the side rail, the side, the bottom rail with the wheel opening moldings, the other pillar in the back, and that's basically it that we'll see in gray. This is, this is taped off in line, so that's going to be, that's going to be black. The rest, everything else that's not gray is going to be, turn out to be black. But yeah, he's uh, getting the gun ready. And uh, we had a perfect opportunity to get started on this thing on the outside, so we're going to take advantage of that and uh, do it now. You got this? No problem? Yeah? You got it. Okay, let's see. here in the sun once you put black on there though it's gonna darken it up there it is so far so good well we went ahead and backed it up into the paint booth here just to get a little better drying a little faster drying time and it just barely barely fits inside our paint booth you can see it's backed up all the way close to the doors and 
Ah, well, there's actually a lot of room still here in the back. <clears throat> so, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna set the they're gonna turn the paint booth on just to get some uh, drunk, get it to dry a little faster, a little better, and uh, go from there. What do you think? Yeah, that'll work. Yeah. Okay. Trying to yeah. trying to record here at the same time. <laughs> here, put the pin in it. Inside that one. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Look at those arm muscles. <laughs> there we go. All right. The gray was laid down. Got it out of tape with this morning. And we taped it all off. Now they're starting to lay down the black dual painter action here. Trying to lay this black down. Laying down pretty nice. Laying down nice, huh? Yeah, pretty good. Not bad, so we'll see how it looks like here in a minute. date time so obviously the trailer is painted it's been done it's finished uh, we still you know the pro the one thing you're probably noticing is the wheels those are gonna get done next but we do have to replace some of the bearings so that's gonna be the last thing that I do um, right now I've been busy wiring everything inside but it's coming along and uh, it's looking real good the other day I finally set up my little um, door holder kick thing whatever you want to call it I don't know what the technical term for this thing is but it holds the door closed and keeps it from slamming all over the place see isn't that nice to finally have again yes it is all right I got the trailer back at the house finally fixed my connector back here so I can actually put power to the trailer bottom and top lights there Rear lights are working as well. Just waiting for the top lights to come in from Amazon. And I uh, also got the fog lights working. Turn those on for you. Hard to see in the day, but bam. Some fog light. I actually, I actually tested these uh, last night and they were really, really bright. It's gonna be very handy at nighttime when we're stuck out there in the pits with no lights. It's gonna be ready for a car here pretty soon um, not just yet I still have to do like I said the floor the major thing being the floor before I can stick a car in it before I leave you here's a quick shot of both the truck and the trailer together from afar can't wait to take a picture at the track with the bullet outside our canopy the trailer the truck the whole nine yards the whole package together it's gonna be real, real nice. Might have to think about maybe putting some decals down the pillar or on the side of the trailer. 
this is just part one we'll show part two when we do the floors and the carpeting and when we finish the trailer later on so stay tuned for that